All right, guys, uh, April 18th, 2017. Today I have uh, Floor System Test 34 for you guys. Um, it's obviously been a while since the last test with my uh, YouTube break, but I am back, and hopefully I can start to make these on a uh, somewhat regular basis at this point. So um, pretty quick and simple test today. I will start by uh, taking a quick look at the panel. Um, nothing has changed with the panel. Uh, we still have four troubles, and uh, it'll probably stay like that for a long time until I can uh, get the um, supplies I need to uh, fix that. Um, nothing with the enunciator panels yet. Those have not been hooked up. Um, I can hook them up, but I've just been too lazy. Same thing with the elevator panel. I haven't had a lot of time to, uh, a lot of time or uh, motivation to work with that. So um, hopefully I can get going with this stuff. But uh, you guys can see the devices now. You guys are probably going to hate me for doing this. But <laughs> um, MBD12L and uh, Spectre Alert. Um, I already had this pull station here from the last test, and I uh, I never actually pulled it in the last test. I uh, did the manual evac. So I figured I would uh, keep it here before I completely change everything. But uh, everything else has been replaced. All the other uh, notification appliances I had have been uh, put back in the pile, and I now have this uh, System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic P1224 MCK Horn Strobe. This is the new one uh, I recently acquired um, a couple months ago from my dad's work. I guess this was just sitting in the back room, uh, brand new in the box, um, just uh, like never installed. This one is in very, very, very good shape. So, um, I, uh, haven't tested this guy on camera before, so I thought I would. So, uh, like I said, uh, nothing special at all. Um, you see this set up every day. Um, like I said, a lot of you guys are probably going to hate on me for setting this up because it's so boring, but, um, next test, maybe I'll do something a little bit more exciting. So, um, four wire operation, uh, two sets of wires going into the Spectre Alert. Um, I got the horn neck, the strobe neck, um, and uh, the Spectre Alert is on continuous signal, um, and it is being coded to code three by the 4005. And um, the strobe circuit is obviously on steady, and uh, it will not um, turn off until I reset the panel. So, uh, like I said, nothing special here, pretty basic. Let's just um, pull this and, uh, Get it over with. So uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Alright, there you guys go. Um, that is how a Spectre Alert should sound on a classic filtered DC, but uh, a lot of them don't sound like that because they're all on those firelight panels, those uh, uh, pieces of garbage firelight panels that um, put out the uh, full wave rectified power. But that's how a Spectre Alert should sound right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button on my camera and reset this pulsation because it takes every bit of two hands to do it, so I'll be right back. All right, I just reset the pull station with the key. Let's reset. And as always, this panel takes an eternity to reset, so I think we'll just uh, sit here and wait. <clears throat> um, so, uh, yeah, I really don't have anything else to say, um, except hopefully the uh, setup for next time should be a little bit more exciting. Um, can't really think of any major fire alarm updates right now I have to share with you guys, but, um, maybe I'll do a combined update video here pretty soon to let you guys know what's going on with everything, and, um, you know, not just the fire alarms, but the elevators, the, um, the radios, uh, everything like that, but, uh, I do have some uploads coming up here pretty soon, um, that are different, and hopefully you guys should like, so... 
Anyway, um, that turned out to be about five minutes. So thank you guys for watching, and that'll be it.